This is Strictly Business, presented by the Greater Bakersfield Chamber of Commerce. Sponsored in part by the Law Offices of Young Wooldridge, San Joaquin Community Hospital. And welcome back to Strictly Business. I'm Nathan Ollie of the Greater Bakersfield Chamber of Commerce, and now it's time for the closing bell. Save the date for the Labor and Employment Law Reform Update with Dan Klingenberger. That's Tuesday, January the 13th at the Chamber, 1725 I Street. And for more information on that, please give us a call at 661-327-4421. An e-waste recycling event will be Saturday, January the 17th from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. And that's also at the Chamber at 1725 I Street. And you can call us on that as well at 661-327-4421. Be sure to save the date for the Chamber's 2015 Annual Dinner Gala and Board Installation. And that's where we install our new board of directors and our incoming chairman of the board, which is Danielle Wade of Bright House Networks. The dinner will be held on Thursday, January the 22nd at the Double Tree by Hilton, and that's at 3100 Camino del Rio Court in Bakersfield. No host cocktails will begin at 5.30 p.m. with dinner in program at 6.30 p.m. For more information or to register, give us a call at 661-327-4421 or register online at bakersfieldchamber.org. A WordPress, a new way to market your business register. That's for register. That's for the next social media therapy session on Wednesday, January 28th. And that's from 11:45 to 1 p.m. Dustin Pitcher, the technical director for the Marcom Group, will discuss WordPress, the world's most widely used content management system for websites and the innovative ways it can help your business. The cost is $30 for members and $60 for non-members and a box lunch will be provided. To register, give the Chamber a call at 661-327-4421 or online at www.bakersfieldchamber.org. And joining me now are Hillary Haynes and Joy Davis from the Chamber, and they're here to chat about upcoming sponsorship opportunities and membership. Hi, guys. Good morning, Nathan. Okay, Joy, we'll start with you. Share with us, if you would, the benefits of a Chamber of Commerce membership. Well, uh, thank you so much, Nathan, for letting me share the opportunities that our members do have uh, when they do join the Chamber here at the Greater Bakersfield Chamber of Commerce. There are many uh, opportunities. Um, I'd like to kind of touch base on the top three that we have seen uh, through surveys that have been taken. Uh, the number one um, is uh, connecting with other businesses followed by business exposure and um, companies that are wanting to make a difference in the community. So uh, there are several opportunities for business exposure, lead generation, in many ways that the businesses can not only uh, expand in their business, get the exposure, and, commu and uh, support our local community. Okay. And this is not an easy question to answer. There's not one answer here, but how, what's the cost? How does it work? You know, we have several memberships that are available for our members. Um, our membership is based on the number of employees that are within okay. your company, but you know, we do have individual memberships that start as low as $65, and that's for a full 12 month exposure with our chamber. So we have a wide variety of options for uh, the smaller business individuals or the large uh, businesses in the community. And I did want to point out that, you know, over 61% of our members fall under what we call the small business uh, category. So we are here to support our local small businesses along with the larger uh, businesses here in town. So what would you say to a business owner who says, well, gee, I'd like to be part of it, but I, I just don't have the time. I can't really participate in the events. What, is there a value to chamber membership even if you don't have the time to participate? Oh, most definitely. Uh, we have several options for sponsorship opportunities, uh, ways that you can still be a part of the chamber. Um, also, uh, you can also designate key employees that might want to be a part of our uh, committees, attend our events, because we know that um, owners of businesses are very busy. They may have a lot of other commitments, but we're here uh, to provide them avenues to still be a part of the chamber without physically being here for meetings or attending seminars or such. And Mixer is a great opportunity. Those are usually evening events, mm -hmm. so a business owner may be able to break free and come enjoy the uh, Mixers and also bring some key employees with them also. Great. Okay, Hillary. So yes. you are a member of the chamber. What what types of programs 
are available for a new chamber member or even a chamber member that's been a member for years and hasn't used all their benefits? What kind of programs are available for them? Well, there are several programs, and it just kind of depends on what your interest is in as a business owner. Um, we have we have our Business Education and Enhancement Committee, um, which they develop and implement seminars and workshops to um, educate and inform the businesses on how to build a stronger business community. Um, there's our energy committee, which we have our oil and gas professionals as well as renewable energy. Um, they meet monthly to discuss updates, um, common uh, issues affecting the, the energy um, uh, industry. We also have... Um, we have our ambassador program and they're they're like the PR we want to say the PR people okay. for the chamber and they go out and they attend the groundbreakings the ribbon cutting ceremonies they plan the mixers and other social uh, networking events and then our newest program that was actually just launched this year is Bakersfield Young Professionals and this is a group that is um, they're made up of between the ages of 21 to 35. And they offer, this program offers social networking, uh, professional development, a chance to be mentored or to mentor others, and also to provide community service. So those okay. are just a few So it's a good way for my, my younger employees, if I'm, a, I'm exactly. a big business owner, it's a good way for my younger employees to get involved. and represent my company and again as you said joy if you don't have the time to get involved one of your younger employees exactly get involved as well and that's what a lot of a lot of the businesses do do um they have their their employees that they designate to attend the different events and the the mixers and the the committee meetings okay. and then of course we have our our great advocacy programs as well yes so, i had to throw a little plug in there for those <laughs> uh, so as we roll into 2015, uh, what kind of program sponsorships are you still seeking? We are still seeking sponsorships for um, the Business Education and Enhancement Committee puts on quarterly seminars as well as um, labor and employment law series. So there are opportunities for businesses to sponsor these events. They're quarterly events. Um, the a presenting sponsorship for these are five thousand okay. dollars and we are still looking for a presenting sponsor and then if you just want to sponsor one of them a series sponsorship is fifteen hundred dollars okay um so those are a couple of um opportunities the labor and employment law series um like I, you just mentioned, we have one coming up on January 13th right. with Daniel Klingenberger. And those are free for our members, $40 for non-members. And it's just an update um, to keep businesses in compliance with the labor laws. Um, and those are great because those yes, change every yes. year. And those are quarterly. And then we also have our seminars where... Um, they're kind of focused on the topics that they range from our marketing, um, advertising, customer service, financial planning. Um, that's another opportunity for those. Um, and then we also have our small business networking breakfast, which our ambassadors put on. And that's a chance for small businesses to interact and learn from the larger businesses and see if there's an opportunity where that they could do business with one another. Okay. And that's a good chance for people to network. There's 30 minutes before the event starts and where people can network and meet each other. And then at the end of that, um, small business networking breakfast there's each person attending each business attending can get up and give a 30 second elevator pitch about their business oh okay so that's a that's a neat event and and joy what about our uh, our chairman's circle oh that, that is a uh, thank you for <laughs> reminding me to bring that up nathan uh, that is a unique opportunity for business to go uh above and beyond their traditional membership. It's an elite group of uh, businesses in town that add special support to uh, our, our chamber. We do provide them um, recognition on the uh, 
while they're in the chamber lobby. Uh -huh. There's many benefits, including additional signage, recognition at all the chamber events. And we want to say a special thank you to those businesses who do uh, commit to that support each year. That's uh, very important to us, and we do want to say thank you. And we are in the process of securing those uh, for this upcoming year. And that's for both small and large businesses, yes. because mm -hmm. both Carneys and PG&E, our guests this morning, are both members of our chairman's circle. You got it. So. Yes. Okay. Anything else I left out? Uh, before you head off to the Midwest for the holidays? Uh, we actually yeah. also, I wanted to, um, we also have our Baker, beautiful Bakersfield Awards, which is another committee that we have. And um, that's another opportunity for sponsorships. The sponsorships, we still have a few spots left to secure. That sponsorship is $2,200. Okay. And that is a huge, huge gala event. Um, Oh, there's over 500 people who attend that, and it's just recognizing the people and the organizations of Bakersfield who are um, who are doing good things for the community. That's terrific. Okay, well, Hillary, Joy, thanks very much. Uh, we appreciate all of your uh, time, and and the businesses can contact either of you about uh, some of these great opportunities. So yes. thanks very much. Thank you, Nathan. Thank you. Well, that's it for Strictly Business for Monday, December 22nd. My thanks again to Rick Kreiser, Denise Newton, Katie Allen, Hillary Haynes, and Joy Davis for joining me this morning. Next week will be a best of Strictly Business show as we highlight some of our favorite segments over the past year. We'll be back live on January 5th. From all of us at the Greater Bakersfield Chamber of Commerce, we wish you the happiest of holidays, and we'll see you in 2015. Take care. <laughs>